Yo, what is up everybody? It's your boy Ross from Unova and welcome back to the Pokemon Scarlet Unova Lock. So this is episode one. Um, we've had an episode, it was episode zero. If you haven't seen it already, go check it out. Um, thank you guys so much for the support on that video. It did amazing. Um, a lot better than I was expecting. So I'm, I'm just really happy with the uh, outcome or the feedback on that video. So thank you. Uh, today is an exciting episode. So we made it through the main... Um, the main... Uh, it's called tutorial basically um, so we got sent out on our missions um, all three paths and now all we have left to do is to get our starter Pokemon so episode one um, the entire <clears throat> the entire purpose of this episode is to get our starter Pokemon as we get to this spot um, I want to show you guys the G Fuel flavor of the day so if you see, guys saw my Twitter um, my Twitter post you probably saw that we got a bunch of G Fuel cans from our good uh, good friend Adam uh, and the, this episode's G Fuel flavor of the day is Sour Power. This can is just this this uh, the design of this can is just sick. It's obviously the Knuckles flavor. Um, this will be going on the set back there, uh, right there. Um, hopefully, we'll get a bigger setup back there soon. But I plan on putting one of the uh, Sonic ones and the Knuckles one in there. So let's give this just give this a try real fast. That one's good. That's really good. It's like a sour cherry almost. I think that's exactly what it is. Yeah, it's like sour cherry. That one's really good. This has been proving more challenging than expected. I'll, I have to admit that. Um, finding a Unova Pokemon in the beginning of the game is a little bit harder than we had anticipated. I know where we can find a Deerling, but the Deerling's like level 19 is the problem. If we could find a Rufflet as our starter, that'd be pretty fire. That'd be pretty sick. I keep seeing the Mareeps and thinking they're Rufflets. Okay. <clears throat> I looked it up, and there is Axew in Area 5 of South Providence, or South Province Area area 5. Um, so we're hoping for an Axew as our starter. Um, if we could get an Axew to start the, uh, the Let's Play, I think we're on a pretty good path. Um, and like I said, that is the goal for today, is just to get that starter Pokemon. Um, if we run into more than one Gen 5 Pokemon today, uh, we'll go ahead and get two. Uh, just because this first episode doesn't have too much content-wise. It's really just us getting the, the starter. So, um, I feel like there's roughly in this area. I could be completely wrong. Okay. We found our starter Pokemon. It is not what we were looking for, but it's a Deerling. Oh, it's level 19. I don't know if we can catch this. Um, what should we do? Do we try to get at least a little bit of damage on it? Um, we're gonna try to get a little damage. This is gonna be horrible. Um, Hey, it was a critical hit, so nothing, uh, that can do, not a lot, I mean, we get hit one more time, we're dead, um, we just gotta go for it now, um, we have two gray balls at least, so we just kinda have to hope, like, it's nine levels above, but, there's one shake, and get it. Sand attack. We're okay. It's okay. And remember, this the Nuzlocke has not started, so I mean, we don't really need to worry about Sprigatito fainting, fainting here. One shake, two shakes, three shakes. We got our starter. <laughs> Let's go, dude. Okay, we didn't even we didn't have to worry about Sprigatito dying at all because we have our starter now, which is level 19, so it might not listen to us very well. So we're still gonna look for that Axew. Um, yeah, dearly of different scents depending on the season. In early spring, these Pokemon give off a de delicate, sweet, and calming scent. <laughs> hmm. We're gonna name it, um, I wanted to do this. I wanted to name it after somebody who commented on the last video. So we're gonna go to the last video and pick a random person who commented. The video is sitting at 100, almost 40 views. Let's go. Okay, so... 
the first comment on the new video is from BB Max World. So thank you, BB, for commenting. Um, and thank you for all the support on the channel. Um, we're going to name the first Pokemon after you. So we ha now have BB the Deerling. Um, I hope you don't take offense to me naming a uh, Pokemon after you. Uh, I don't think you will. But our starter Pokemon is officially a Deerling. Um, remember, the Nuzlocke has officially started. If we lose, we'll restart um, until the third gen. After the third gen, we will not restart anymore. Um, so now, the only thing left to do is... Move Sprigatito and Lechonk into here. And now we, we have one Pokemon. Um, we have Deerling. So... Now we're going to look for our second Pokemon, um, which we hope is going to be Axew. Um, if we don't find Axew today, that's alright. We have a starter Pokemon officially. Um, I was pretty worried there for a while we weren't going to get one <laughs> for the first episode. Oh, perfect idea. Basculin. We can get a Basculin on the team. Um, we'll use Leech Seed. Uh, it shouldn't kill it. I don't know why we're just floating there like that. Um, we seeded the basket. Oh, that didn't. Ab absolutely nothing. BB got some health back, though. Um, I, I guess I'm just gonna go for it, honestly gonna go for the premier ball. One shake, two shakes, three shakes. Oh, we got it. Easy. Easy. Which means we need to look back at the comments and find out who the other comment was. Okay. Um, so the other three comments were Adam, Mr. Ultra Luminary, and Will64. Um, hmm. I kind of want to save Wills for a Sandile. I don't know. Is Sandile... Let me look this up. So, uh, Will64 is a new subscriber. Um, I believe... Okay, so Sandile is in Scarlet and Violet. Um, with Will's uh, profile picture being uh, Sandile, I think it's fair to save the name Will64 for Sandile. Um, so, we're going to go ahead and name uh, Basculin after Mr. Ultra Luminary. Um... Thank you again for the support, um, and yeah, we're, this Basculin is being named after you, so. Once again, I hope you guys don't take offense to, like, me naming these after you guys. I don't, I don't think you will, um, I think it's just something fun to do. Oh, we can't, we can't go. Okay, so, it won't let us go above 12, so we're gonna do Mr. Ultra. Just know that that is uh, a tribute to you. So, there we go, dude. And then, I guess, if we find Axew today, um, it's only right that we have Adam the Axew, so. And like I said, Will, you will have a Pokemon named after you. It'll just be uh, the Sand Isle, because I, I see that that's one of your favorite Pokemon, I'm guessing. I think I know why we haven't found it yet. That's because we haven't drank much of our G Fuel, so I'm going to slam this. Not the whole thing, but some of it, and then we'll find one. <sighs> okay, now we should. We found a Larvitar, but not an Axew. I think that's gotta mean we're in the right vicinity, though, right? Like, <gasps> there it is. We found it. The G the G Fuel worked. The G Fuel chug worked. Let's go, dude. It's a level 16. Um, oh, I, I use one bullet seed. Oh, it doesn't do anything. We're okay. There. Um, let's just hope it doesn't kill Deerling. And now... Oh, I, I had an Ultra Ball. Why didn't I use that? Okay, come on. One shake. Two shakes, three shakes. Oh my god, dude, it was so close. Um, we're, 
the Ultra Ball should. Let's hope. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. One shake. Two shakes. Dude! Come on, Axew. I know you want to stay. Uh, nice. Gotta use a Hyper Potion on BB. We're not trying to lose BB already. Uh, we just got BB today. I'm so hyped that we found it though. Literally, I like I've got to call recording quits in like just a few minutes because I got to get going to work. So finding it last second is awesome. That's my last Ultra Ball. One shake, two shakes, three shakes. Dude, it is teasing us. It's teasing us, bro. Come on, what do you think it'll stay? In? Mm. I think it wants a Premier Ball. I think that's what it wants. Come on. One shake. Nope, it didn't want the Premier Ball. I get it. I get it. I. Oh, okay. Okay. I see how it is. Pulling the taunt. I, I guess we could attack it again. Um, we'll go one more. We'll go one more bullet seed. Yeah, that did nothing. Um, you slash. Use just a regular Pokeball. We have 85 of them, so... We're not really... One, two, three. Let's go, dude. We got Axew. So now we have three Pokemon on the team. Bro, oh, that's sick. And there's two Axew right there. Oh, wait, we didn't... Okay, for a second I thought it wasn't going to let us name it. This Pokemon lives in nests that are made in the ground. People in ancient times used it as tusks, as cooking knives. Yes, we'd like to give Axew a nickname, of course. And as I said earlier, um, shout out Adam. Also the guy who got me the um, the G Fuel for the day. So, yeah, definitely shout out Adam this, for this entire episode. But also, Axie will be named after Adam. Um, and if you want to be named after a Pokemon, just comment down below. Um, if you have a specific name you want to be named after, just let me know below. Uh, and that goes for everybody who already has one as well. Quick little team recap real fast. Um, so, the team now consists of BB the Deerling, Mr. Ultra, the Basculin, and Adam the Axew. So we have we have a pretty solid team. Uh, we have a Grass, Water, and a Dragon type. Um, and, and we literally just started today. So I'm hyped to see how this episode or how this series goes. I hope you guys did enjoy, and I hope you have a fantastic week. Peace.